Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today is the day. Foot Centurions is here. We have this loading screen. We're guessing about some of the players. We have some leaks about some of the other ones. Today is going to be a spicy day on FIFA 23. There's a lot to look at and a lot to talk about, about a brand new promo, right? Never seen before promo on FIFA. So I want to take a look at all that we know about this brand new promo, some of the leaks, and also some of the pack code, because alongside of all these new foot centurions cards we're getting today, there's also a new hero that we expect to see and some very interesting packs that EA have added to the code. So I want to take a look at that and of course, as always, talk about how it's going to impact the market. What can you expect today on prices on meta cards, guys that you maybe use for your team and also the SBC fodder side of the market. The base icon player pick is refreshing today. What other SBCs could we have that might move that side of the market? We'll talk about it all today. So if you're excited for Foot Centurions, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about that loading screen and what leaks we have right now. There's only one player on the loading screen that is not leaked as of yet. And that's the player that's on the far side, the Liverpool 90 rated card. A lot of people suggest that that is James Milner, but we do know the Croatian, that is Rebic, and this card right here is Neymar. That is a really big leak, and that's the probably the biggest name that has been leaked so far. Neymar is coming as a player in Foot Centurions. Now, here's the thing. Those stats, 90 pace, 95 dribble, are confirmed. It's a plus two pace boost, plus one dribbling boost over his inform. Him, but we don't know the position. We don't know the rest of the stats on the card. Everything else here is a prediction that Foot Sheriff says. That's our prediction. So that's a big name though, right? That's a hype kind of like your upper echelon player as a part of this promo. That's nice. A special promo for Neymar. Here, here's the thing I have with this Centurions promo, right? It's all about who's gotten the assist goals or clean sheets 100 plus, right? I hope they give us some info on some of these 100 plus like aspects that these players are getting promo cards for. Here's another one. Maestro Kim Pembe is getting a card. Hey, watch out Varan users. This is going to be Kimpembe's first special on the year. There's going to be a lot of hype around this card. Two big PSG players, Kimpembe and Mr. Neymar dropped into the game today on this promo. So that could be nice. That's our prediction as well. Again, hopefully they juice up his pace a little bit more. Like 87 pace, that could be a really, really nasty card in a good way, of course. But that's a Kimpembe league. Those are the two biggest leaks that we have right now. Now, I mentioned the Rebich, right? This is the latest league as I'm recording this video. There's going to be more leaks today. Day, guys i can promise you that watch out for more leaks ante rebich is also coming stats for a prediction on this card as well that card looks cool but it's probably not going to be that expensive very nice for all the serial links that are going around right now though so those are the only cards that we like truly have leaked right now neymar kimpembe and rebich a lot of other leaks are kind of circling around but if it doesn't come from foot sheriff just be careful about believing in those i do believe that you will see more of those leaks today and there's probably going to be a lot more of them coming because we do expect a decent sized promo team. Now, speaking of leaks, we also have an objective player and an SBC player leaked. Our first leak yesterday was this Gulashi, and these are his official stats according to Foot Sheriff. It looks average, right? A goalkeeper objective. Yes, he does link very nicely to the Winter Wild Cards Klosterman, the team in the tournament, Gavardiol. Bundesliga special keeper, not bad, um, but it does seem a little underwhelming, and that's an objective. So not too much hype there, but something to play for, especially if you're a Leipzig fan or if that fits your team. Of course, we had the Politano yesterday. We'll talk about that. Here's our SBC that I think is maybe going to be today, and these are the confirmed stats as well. 88 pace, 93 dribble, 86 shooting, 88 passing for a five-star skill, four-star weak foot just scored in the Chelsea game yesterday, Riyad Mahrez. Riyad Mahrez is always a very hype FIFA card, and this SBC could be really insane as well. If you guys remember in the previous years of FIFA, like his headliner SBC was one that so many people did. It feels like Mahrez every single year gets a really hype card that gets people excited on this game. So I think this SBC is going to get people excited today. I think this will be our SBC today, by the way. I mean, it, it might not be, but this seems to be kind of like a marquee player that EA could drop in as a promo card for today on a Friday. Of course, five-star skills, four-star weak foot, and, uh, you know, some good traits. Finesse, flair, technical dribbler, really good card, very meta for the FIFA side of things. So the only complaint I have about that is he, another right wing. I feel like we've had a lot of right wings recently, uh, but people have already started to go out and invest because of this SBC. You see like the special Calvin Phillips, the rule breakers card has gone up in price. 
a little bit. Some of your other, uh, like Cancelo, I believe, is another one that people are really looking forward to today. I mean, if the value on this Mares SBC is really good, and if the card looks really good, you will definitely see some of these cards, the Manchester City links, go up in price. You saw it yesterday with Politano, right? Some of those players that are in the Serie A, especially they get, you know, those green links, extra chemistry points to that Politano card went up a lot in price. So we're going to be closely watching those Manchester City players today. I do believe Mars will be today, but technically he could be at any point this weekend. So the players look cool from the first few that we have seen, right? The Mares, uh, of course, everybody really wants a Zlatan. Everybody really, really wants a Marco Royce. There's so many potential options that we have out of this Centurions promo. I do think that the rest of the leaks today will kind of give us a vibe for how this promo is going to go. And on the stream today, as we get into content drop, we'll be able to kind of tell how this promo is going to look. But of course, everything that is a variable or every, this is a variable every single Friday. That's what I'm trying to say. It's the pack weight and the pack weight for the winter wild cards. As you guys probably know, it seems like it's almost impossible to pack these winter wild cards items. Like it's really hard from upgrade packs, from all of the save packs that we have had, the rewards, the 83 times tens and stuff like that, that we have had this week. They've just been tough to pack. A couple of people here and there get lucky with them. I think today one of the biggest parts of the market is going to be based around how packable these Foot Centurions cards are. So we're going to talk about that in a second. But speaking of packs, there is a couple new packs that have been added to the code, including a very interesting loan pack. That's what I want to talk about first. A hero Ledley King loan pack guarantees a hero player Ledley King on a seven-game loan now you might be like nate as this guy like is he a new hero that we knew about well some of you may have seen this it's actually searchable in the game ledley king has been searchable on the transfer market and in concepts for a little bit of time but we don't know stats just yet we just know that's his dynamic image and that he is 86 rated overall right if you search king again 86 rated ledley king so obviously ea has put a pack in the code that gives out a free loan ledley king i don't know this if this is going to be inside of objectives or an SBC or whatever, but it looks like they're giving us one of these today. So um, I would assume also that this Ludley King card would get dropped into packs today as well, which makes me wonder if EA is going to do anything with heroes inside of the Centurions promo as well. Will they drop any like upgraded versions of heroes today? We're going to have to keep a close eye out for the leaks on that or for the information on that. That would be pretty spicy if they did. But Hero Ledley King pack. couple other packs that are going to have some market impact. First one, the Centurions Essentials pack. It is 10 rare gold players. Three of them are going to be 85 or higher. This pack is tradable. This one could really start to impact the mid to the high tier side of the fodder market today. If that pack is dropped today, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Team of the week reboot pack pack which is untradeable but it contains team of the week players from team or weeks one through nine and then seven gold players that to me is ea saying hey we haven't had team of the weeks in a while we're going to supply you with team of the weeks and seven additional gold rares that'll be in the store in my opinion centurions foundation pack another untradeable store pack it's basically the same thing as the essentials pack just untradeable and a couple more players and then again, we have a Centurions 100. It makes sense with this promo, right? Centurions 100. It just makes sense. But this pack, it's got to be way cheaper than all the one other 100 player packs. Contains 20 rare silver players and 80 rare gold players. I mean, if you're telling me that I'm supposed to go into the store and spend three or five, like 350,000 coins with the Black Friday 100 pack, right? If you're telling me that I have to go spend that many coins to get a player pack that has 20 silvers in it, no way, right? And I think EA know that whenever they drop this Centurions 100 pack, either today or this weekend, they're going to have to make it cheaper. I would not be surprised if that pack is like 150 or 200,000 coins, 250 max, because yes, you could still get promo cards from it. And the way that it's added to the code, it looks like it's tradable, by the way, not untradable like some of our other, uh, like the 500k pack was untradable. Uh, of course, EA messed it up in the first little bit, but I think that pack is tradable. It does not say untradable inside of it. So watch out for your rare silvers. If you like trading with silvers, and um, especially with fodder on the market, whenever that pack drops, either today or sometime this weekend, that's going to bring a lot of tradable supply to the market. And that's why I'm really talking about this today, guys, because the packs and the store and the pack weight, I mean, we talk about it every single week, but this week for sure, especially since we're getting closer and closer 
to team of the year, which is always a time where the market drops off. This foot centurions promo today and the pack weight is going to be key and what packs they drop in the store. Because like we said, winter wild cards seemed very, very tough to pack. But if they make the centurions cards today somewhat easy to pack, and if they supply them like crazy on the market, that could be one of the first reasons we start to see the market drop off because people see some brand new cool cards that are a lot cheaper than maybe than some of the um, winter wild cards that we have had in the past couple of weeks. And if these guys are cheap today, if they're cool with pretty good and meta stats, and some big name players, I do think that could mean some market sell off later in the weekend, not necessarily today or or tonight, because a lot of people are also playing foot champs. There's a ton of gameplay demand for today. But seriously, I think these cards and the supply on them is going to be interesting. So we just saw it right there, right? 12% to pack a winter wild cards player from an 125k pack. We're gonna have to watch closely today to see what that pack percentage is on the foot centurions and just also monitor how supplied they are on the market. And again, like I said, those pack codes that have been added, that Centurions 100 pack and the Essentials pack, the tradable ones, that will really impact these cards. Now, let's talk more about the market because you can see I don't have a ton of coins. I've been trading. I've been trying to do some quick flips. We bought some Syria cards yesterday. Guys like Cordoba went up a lot. Again, you, you know, the Politano SBC made some cards go up like crazy. I've been selling my Kakas that I bought on Wednesday for good profits, of course. Now, is there going to be panic selling today? That's something that we talk about almost every single Friday. I do believe there will be a little bit of panic selling today, but that's, of course, going to be all based around how insane the leaks look. If the leaks for today, if the players that we see, Foot Sheriff and the guys on Twitter tweeting out, if they look absolutely insane with big upgrades and they look nuts, big name players, you know, I think there could be some more panic selling today. I would just expect the market to be kind of stagnant, right? Maybe some of these winter wild cards from team two, if you were thinking about investing in them, I've actually picked up a couple of them because they have gotten a bit lower after yesterday's supply. Yeah, I'm going to be watching these cards today. I'm going to be watching the rest of the market to see where it moves. And I think there could be just a little bit of panic selling today. But again, like I said, that is all dependent upon how good the leaks are. Look, but again, like I said as well, after content drops, once we see what SBC we get today, if it is the Mares, if we get a really good team of promo cards, if they're really expensive and rare, kind of like the Winter Wild cards were, like a lot of these guys are still pretty expensive, right? You go to Team 1 and Team 2, Benzema, Adama, like remember last week on Friday, Alan St. Maxman was like, 800 coins, 800,000 coins, 900,000 coins on the first couple of hours. If most of this new promo team that drops today looks very, very expensive right off the bat, I think the rest of your market will do pretty well in those meta areas. But, um, you know, just, just be careful with this market. Again, guys, we're getting closer and closer and closer to a team of the year kind of drop off panic selling scenario. And I do feel like this weekend might be a time where some you know, investors out there and, and people that are owning cards and their teams might start to think about selling during this weekend or after this weekend is over. So just be very careful with those teams out there today. I still think the market's going to be very good to trade in today, like I said, because there's a lot of gameplay demand and we've seen it. The market's been so great to trade in this entire week. So I think we really just have to watch the panic selling today and remember what is hype, right? After yesterday, we have a couple things that are hype right now. We have League One links that are still very hyped with the Lacazette, the people like to use the Payet, the Eric Bailly, those cards have moved well. But then, of course, after the Politano SBC yesterday, a lot of Serie A cards are moving in price. And if we get Mares today, maybe some more Premier League cards could be fluctuating a lot in price. So that's kind of where I would be trying to trade and make coins today. Other than that, of course, like we almost talk about every single Friday, your normal gold cards, like maybe a Van Dyke or a Cristiano Ronaldo or a Neymar gold, like Neymar gold cards been going up a bit recently, right? With the League One hype. These guys are definitely going to drop today, but they could have a bit of a rebound as people go out and buy teams after the lightning rounds and after that pack supply hits in the first hour or so. So that's what I would say with the market today in the meta areas. Just be careful of a crash and watch these Centurions cards. I know it's always a gamble every single week and it's always kind of a mystery. You don't know how EA is going to supply them, what the pack weight's going to be. I don't think there's a ton of saved up packs this week. So I feel like these guys might start off to be somewhat expensive, but I just have a feeling that EA is going to turn up the pack weight for these guys and make them uh, be super packable. And that's going to be a lot of hype. So We'll just have to see how that ends up going down in the game today. Now, let's talk about fodder as well, because today on Friday, a big SBC that is refreshing is the base icon player pick. And if you did this earlier in the week, it's going to come back and be available once more so that you can, uh, again, repeat it in the next 
two days before it expires. It's still an 85 and 86 rated squad, exact same requirements. I did not do it the first time. Will this be a enough, enough demand to make fodder investable today? Well, of course, fodder on the high tier is exploding. Look at 91s. They are 78,000 coins after the Zidane SBC dropped yesterday. Everything that is 89 and above, in my opinion right now, is probably a sell because these prices are crazy because everybody has fodder, right? They've got low tier fodder. They've got 83s, 84s, 85s, and 86s. This is like the highest almost ever that 89s and 90s have been. I mean, Courtois was 55K earlier this year. He's 60,000 coins right now. Like this is really, really high. This is not a time to invest in these. This is not a time to invest in Lewandowski or De Bruyne or uh, this is the highest he's been all year since the first week when he was somewhat usable, right? These guys are sells. 89 pluses are sells. Even 88s are up a little bit. These guys were like 22K earlier in the week. They're about 25,000 coins now. Um, if you bought some of these at like 22k and you're still holding that's fine they might go up a tiny bit today the only fodder movement that i feel like you maybe would have today would be a slight rise with people going out and doing the base icon player pick maybe a slight rise on like 85s to 87s it would be just a, a little bit of a rise and then later on in the evening i still think they're going to end up dropping down and the amount that they drop down into tonight late friday night and into saturday would all depend on what packs ea put in the store if they put in these packs that are tradable if they do the 100 pack and it of course is tradable then i think you will see that fodder price drop off a lot more if you don't see those packs it probably won't drop off as much so those packs are really key for fodder this weekend but I think Fodder this weekend will be a really good buying window, a really good buying opportunity if 86s go back down to about, again, 10,000 coins. I mean, hey, these guys a couple weeks ago were 15, 16K. I think they're going to get there again, even before, right before team of the year or even during team of the year. So I like 84s, 85s, 86s if they drop down a lot more because you know that EA are going to try to release some SBCs in the next two weeks before team of the year to try to drain our clubs of coins and drain our clubs of fodder so that we have to open packs and want to open packs during that team of the year time frame. So I like fodder because we're getting close to a time where I feel like EA is going to try to rinse our clubs from that stuff. So just watch those prices tonight. I wouldn't be in a hurry to buy. I think I would wait until I honestly had to wait till Saturday to buy fodder because you can see and just wait and see whatever happens today. Then you can, of course, um, wait and see and then decide based on the content that we get and how it looks. But truly, guys, I am excited today because this this Centurion's promo, it has hype because it's brand new. It's different. And right now, it's kind of a surprise still to us because we only have a couple cards that are leaked. We're going to have more today for sure, but it's kind of this whole idea of Centurions is a surprise. Some people have been asking me, Nate, do you think there's going to be a swaps program as a part of this? I don't believe there is. Winter wildcard swaps, of course, is ending in seven days. I am one token away from the 8325. I'm probably going to try opening that uh, either today or maybe next week, depending on who's in packs. Uh, but some people are going to be opening these packs today. Good luck. I think we got our last token yesterday as well. Marquee match ups uh, our 26th and probably final token was inside of the first SBC here and it made check your clubs guys for the FC 20 or FC MN players they are selling for max price 10,000 coins a piece bronzes silvers golds they're all selling for 10k because this SBC has the 26th and probably final World Cup swap token. I don't believe we're getting any more unless EA surprises us and put one more in the store today. There's not a pack code added for that. I think we have seen all of the winter wildcard swap tokens. Now, just to talk quickly a little bit about um, the Zidane and the Politano. Zidane dropping yesterday was a little bit of a surprise, right? Because we thought that, hey, Thursdays, yes, are Icon SBC days, but the leak was it was going to be during Centurions. EA dropped it yesterday. From a price standpoint, I think this Zidane is just mid-value. It's coming in at about 1.4 million coins, which is about the same as his card price on the market. If you take a look, he's still here at about 1.4 million coins. That's why I say it's mid-value, right? Jarzinho was like a two, 300K undercut from where his card was on the market when the SPC was released. If Jar if, if this um, uh, Zidane was like 1.2 mil, I think we'd be a lot happier with it. But still, it is Zidane. And as you've, of course you can see, people are doing this SPC because it directly correlates to the fodder prices absolutely exploding on the market yesterday with a couple of really high rated squads inside of the Zidane. So that made fodder move yesterday. And of course, like we said, with the Serie A movements, this Politano SBC is kind of like, I don't even know, it's like breaking the game in, in a sense here because 
I did this SBC. It's a fun one. I don't know if it's a must do. Um, if you don't have a lot of fodder or if you're maybe not opening packs right now because you're waiting for team of the year, you're like, should I do this? I don't think it's a must do. I think it's kind of just a really cool card. And the reason why it's cool is because the traits, right? 14 traits, second wind, bicycle kicks. Like these are some pro clubs type traits that they've added. I don't think we've ever seen a second wind trait or bicycle kick trait. Uh, some of these other ones in here too, set play specialist. Like He's got crazy, crazy, crazy traits. He feels very interesting in game, but it's not that expensive. It's only two SBCs, I believe 85, 86. I tried him out for one game and he was fun. I'll try him out for a few more, but that was our content yesterday. And of course, since that SBC was all of the rage, again, like we said, a lot of your Serie A cards are exploding in price. You know, some of these guys like the Kim Min Jae going from 80,000 coins all the way to like 140 or 150. For some of these cards, you might want to think about taking the cash and selling them because this is like exactly what you look for. If you have one of these in your team or in your club, or even if you made an investment, you look for a player like Politano to get dropped. These cards go boom in price. You sell on the boom and then they end up dropping down, right? So that's what I would try to do with some of these is look to take the cash on those Serie A cards, whether it's tonight late when everybody's going out and buying teams uh, or if you're happy with the price before then, go ahead and do that. Now, I have one more thing to talk about in this video and it's kind of interesting and it is talking about saving packs because I know a lot of you guys are saving packs and this is a rumor that's been going around and I think it's fake, um, but I want to talk about this. I don't think this screenshot is fake necessarily. But there's this screenshot going around that people are saying that you can't pack team of the year cards out of saved packs that you save before team of the year starts because of this EA help thing here where somebody was asking EA help, if I save packs, I can't get team of the year out of those packs. Are we getting this right? And the EA help person says, yes, the team of the year player can only be in packs that you purchase or get during when the promo is on. And I think honestly, guys, that this is false. I think that the EA help person here is incorrect. They don't know what they're talking about because think about it right today i'm saving packs for this next upcoming promo of foot centurions right i've got a couple here i did some of the 78 plus times threes we'll open one now for fun but i'm saving packs for this promo because i want to try to pack some of these cards right and if i am able to pack these cards wow that was nice if i'm able to pack a centurions card today out of a 78 plus times three which you would of course assume that i would be able to do that what's the difference with the team of the year card right and that's something that has never changed before saved packs have always updated to give you what is ever currently in packs at the time when you're opening them it's not like it's locked to the to where you uh first got it right it's not like that so that's why I believe I wouldn't be worried if I was saving packs for team of the year. I would keep saving if that's what you want to do. And I would not read into that. So don't be worried. I know a lot of people have been asking me about that. Like, Nate, is this legit? I think the EA help person literally has no idea what they're talking about. And I think that that is not true. So keep saving packs for team of the year if that's what you want to do. And uh, I'm going to keep opening these 78 times threes and rinsing because my club is going to be empty today. And I'm going to try to open an 8325 and a lot of those upgrade packs today on stream just to see if we can get anything super duper cool. So it's a big day on FIFA today because, again, guys, this promo is brand new. And uh, it's going to be exciting to see what EA drop. And also with the SBCs and objectives, again, I will say as a word of warning, expect a little bit of a letdown in terms of the content. It's not going to be as insane as Winter Wild Cards, but hopefully it's still a bang on a promo from EA Sports with great player selection, at least for today with stuff that's in packs. So if you're excited for the promo today, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. And of course, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. I'll see you guys in the Twitch stream today. It has been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.